and horrific 30-minute rampage. What happened at around 3.30 p.m. on Friday in Cardiff appeared to be the actions of one man using his van to target whomever he chose. Such as partners Annie Jones and Adam Lewis out walking with their two-year-old daughter Amelia May when the van driver mounted the curb and hit them. Amelia May's great-grandmother insists this was no accident. It wasn't an accident, not by any means. I knew that they had the baby, caught the baby in the pram, Amelia, and she was thrown out of the, the pushchair. And Adam's friend, John, brought the pushchair back and then told me about all what went on. And he said, it's, it's all right, he said, it's nothing to really worry about, he said, but they have been knocked down. Evidence collected from multiple crime scenes across the city and with the help of eyewitnesses, the frightening sequence of events is becoming clear. We have uh, multiple scenes with multiple victims uh, who have multiple injuries. Tragically, one of the victims uh, from yesterday's events has died. I'm dealing with this as a murder investigation. A 31-year-old local man has been arrested on suspicion of murder and is currently at Cardiff Bay Police Station uh, and is being interviewed. Police say they are steadily piecing together the sequence of events. At Crossways Road in Ely, three people were hurt, among them two children. Near the Reptile Centre on Cowbridge Road West was where Annie Jones, her partner Adam Lewis and their two-year-old daughter were targeted. Further along, outside the fire station, a 32-year-old woman was killed. She's been named locally as Karina Menzies. Two young girls were also hurt. Outside the shops on Grand Avenue, three people were injured. And two women were hit near the Leckwith Retail Park. The driver of the van was eventually arrested here, near the pub on Penland Road. What I shall never forget is the screams. I went in the house afterwards and I was shaking from head to toe. I had palpitations, everything. It was really terrible. We pressed the button to cross over the road and a van swerved past and obviously hit somebody on the way past. A lady screamed and we got over the, crossed over and there was a lady and a young boy lying on the floor as, we, as the van had gone past. The van driver, still in custody after being arrested on suspicion of murder, also got out of his vehicle and physically attacked a pedestrian with what's thought to be a steering wheel crook lock. Police are also appealing for information about a second vehicle. A black Renault Clio was seen driving on the wrong side of the road towards Ely here on Western Avenue yesterday at about 3.23pm, just moments before the first hit and run was reported. What happened may now be much clearer, but why so many people were seemingly targeted indiscriminately remains a mystery.